how my French mom does her grocery shopping. So in this video, I'm gonna be filming a little bit of my mom's grocery shopping so you can see what kind of food she gets and how that is done in France. And I'm also going to be walking you through the process that she uses to make her grocery list and her meal plan and then how she uses that to grocery shop. So this video is kind of an overview of everything from making her grocery list, the grocery shopping, to how she then uses the groceries to make the meals and like the recipes. But if you're more interested in deep diving into a certain specific aspects, then let me know and we can definitely make a few videos on this. So hope you enjoy learning about this process and hope you enjoy the clips of her grocery shopping and we'll get right to it. So here's how my mom does her grocery shopping. The first thing she focuses on is making a grocery list that's gonna make the shopping much easier. So the first thing she does is she has an ongoing grocery list where she writes down anything that she has run out of throughout the week. And then whenever it's time for her to make her grocery list, she makes sure to take all of that into account. Then what she does is she goes through a bunch of different cookbooks or recipes that she's gotten out of magazines or things like that and she writes down all of the meals that she wants to be making throughout the week. So she writes down a little meal plan. And then what she does is she will take all of the ingredients that are necessary from this meal plan and put them onto a list. And she adds them to the list strategically. So basically she sorts out the groceries depending on the layout of the store. So she visualizes the store in her head and she sorts out the groceries that she needs depending on the order of the aisles that she walks by. She does this because her grocery shopping is much more effective that way because she's not buying things that she doesn't need or she's not forgetting anything that's on her list because she just knows that as she walks through the store she's going to find the ingredients that she's listed in order and so then she can cross them out in order and she knows that she's getting all she needs. A good thing about making her grocery list like that is that she's not buying any food that, that, that is then going to waste because all of the ingredients that she buys are with a purpose. She knows exactly for what she will be using them, for which recipe, on what day, for how many people, all of that. Maybe we can talk Another thing that she does while grocery shopping is having different items, different groceries from different stores. So she's not getting everything from one supermarket. She gets the basics at the supermarket, most things. But then she also goes to other smaller, more specific stores to get certain things. 
So for instance, she gets her cheese at a fromager, so like a cheese store, and that way she is able to get some advice and tips on what kind of cheese she should buy depending on what she's looking for, and she can get some like fresh, high quality cheese there. And she also gets her fruit and vegetables from a maraîcher, so a little shop that sells fruit and vegetables from the market. And that way, again, she can get advice and they can tell her what they recommend and she can get better quality fruit and vegetables than if she were to get them at the supermarket. And the final thing on her list is she goes to Picard, which is a store only for frozen foods. So you have really high quality frozen foods there so she can get frozen vegetables and that helps make the meals quicker and it helps get more variety. She can also get one or two frozen meals, like one person meals that she can have for lunch for instance when she's at work and so getting these frozen groceries is really convenient and in general if you go to like a specific store for frozen groceries the quality is going to be better the price is lower and there's just going to be much more choice than getting them directly from the supermarket a good thing about making her grocery list like that is that she then has all of the ingredients that she needs for each meal so you can see these examples there are a couple of meals here you can see that for each recipe she bought just the ingredients that she needed not more not less and that will help make sure that she always has the right ingredients on hand to make what she wants. That's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to like it and subscribe and see you on my next one. Bye.